Good morning, y'all. What's up? It's been a couple of days since your girl been live. I wanted to come and kick it with y'all on this beautiful Sunday morning. Still Sunday morning. Yeah, still Sunday morning. Oh, man. What's been going on in these YouTube streets? I hope y'all had a great weekend. I heard, um, what do they call it, the basketball thing? Come on today. Y'all know, know nothing about sports, but I'm going to be watching it because Leon want to watch it. So I'm going to be watching um, I was going to call it the classics. You know I'm slow. But, um, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about what's been going on lately. I'm not surprised. I don't know why everybody else is surprised. I am not surprised. And what I mean by that is the Diddy thing. Yeah, I got all my white fear now, Polish. I'm not one of Diddy girls. Because if I was one of Diddy girls, I would be Diddy ass a long time ago. Mm-mm. I ain't one of Diddy girls. Um, I just like white fingernail polish. I think it's kind of cute. But anyway, anywho, let's talk about your boy Diddy. And Jamel Peterson called him Diddy Glover. <laughs> Reason he called him Diddy Glover, because he's he looking bad nowadays. Diddy walking around here looking real, real driven. And I see why. But I'm not surprised. All these YouTubers surprised. And, oh, did he turn in 20 some tapes to the feds? Did he snitch and uh, uh, duh? Did he do a Nino Brown on their ass? Did he say, oh, I can't come to the party? I, I, I can't come to the party, Jay. Okay. Y'all remember the movie Minister Society, right? When old boy turned in uh, Kane, them video when they killed the Chinese folks at the, at the theater. And old boy got beat up by Kane. What'd he do? These movies tell you how people act on a daily basis. He turned the video into the feds because he was pissed. Hey, Miss Lorraine. So when people get pissed off, they start telling, especially our people. We know they can't hold water. Folks would tell on their own mama when it comes to going to jail. Did not Kelly tell us he got a lot of stuff on a lot of body, a lot of a lot of bodies, a lot of people. I, I I can just visualize our Kelly right now. What's going on with my hair? I can see our Kelly right now sitting there talking to the feds, just, just writing statement after statement. And what else you need to know? Our Kelly going to walk up out of there. Because I, I, everybody's talking about, oh, it's the ghost of Kim Porter and, and Tupac bringing the stuff to pass. Ghosts don't do that, y'all. It ain't no such thing, okay? You, I don't know how much y'all want to believe in spirits speaking and all. They, they don't do that. They somewhere resting and, and glad they're not here in this mess we in, okay? The ghost ain't talking. You know who talking? R. Kelly talking. Y'all want to talk about the ghost. No, the ghost of R. Kelly. R. Kelly is behind. Or I can guarantee y'all R. Kelly is behind everything that's going on right now. And everybody guessing. I think Diddy did it. I think Jay did it. No, R. Kelly doing it. Did he say, I'm not going down by myself? R. Kelly ain't slow. He like, oh, y'all all, all want to leave me here. Don't even give me a $25 for some commissary. I'm telling. I'm finna need no brown everybody. Y'all gonna be surprised who behind, and I ain't gonna call it snitching. Because it needs to be told. Because you know why? All these young folks, all these babies, is being mistreated in Hollywood by these perverts. So it's about damn time that somebody opening their mouth, even if it is R. Kelly, it's about damn time you make peace with God and say, I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell what we've been doing to all these babies. I wish Usher would come out and say the truth. But see, with men, they have pride. They don't want to look bad. You know, they, they don't want to look like, oh, I'm, I'm G now. Everybody going to look at me differently because a man took advantage of me. No, baby, you a victim and you got to come out and speak on it. So won't nobody else be victimized. But everybody doing their research right now, all the YouTubers, and they coming out with names. I'm not getting that deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm smart enough to not deep dive i'm not throwing names out there and i got them but i don't want people coming after me because i didn't say some stuff i shouldn't be saying you know what, what people don't realize even youtubers when you dealing with folks with money you walking on thin water because money makes people disappear okay and when you go into they they didn't throw out names of attorneys that um 
They take clients overseas like Bin Laden and all. They have big clients. Terrorist lawyers. Diddy didn't want to got them. Diddy didn't want to got those kind of attorneys that deals with uh, cases that's over in other countries. You know why Diddy want to do that? Just think about it. I'm going to put something on your mind. Because people say, why did Diddy go get people international lawyers? Federal lawyers. You know why? He's done federal shit. When Diddy was out on them yachts. And he was renting out private islands and shit for parties. It was across seas. He took it from the United States because he didn't want the United States laws to come after him. So since it's hitting the fan, now the international attorney's got to take hold of his case. Because the feds is international. The United States attorney can't help him over in Cuba. Or whatever island he had those women in. They can't help him over there. So he has to have an international attorney. And you know why Diddy was out on yachts and renting out islands? Because they was getting those Caribbean young cute little things. Y'all, Oh, y'all thought he was only dealing with American girls. I know y'all didn't think that. Just think about them countries. They don't have the things we have, right? They We spoiled as hell in America. Y'all don't, know, y'all don't realize how spoiled y'all are in America. Them girls sometimes can't even eat without selling their bodies. So, Sean Puffy Combs come around with L.A. Reid and, and Russell Simmons and, and the Tyler Perry's and Oprah's, these billionaires. They come and they like Jesus over there. They, they, they saviors. These Americans want to help us? Oh, you think them little cute little girls won't do anything? Starting from age eight. They would do anything. Their parents making them do it because they want to eat. It's not like America over here, y'all. They struggling bad. So anything, y'all remember all them uh, military movies, Me Love You Long Time. The, the Me Love You Long Times, them um, Korean women, when the soldiers go over there. That's why so many Americans got babies over in Germany and other places because Me, lo- me Love You Long Time go love you long time and give you what you want because she want to eat. So you don't think they go over there and get me love you long times and put them on the ship and on the islands and they giving up me love you long times? I'm just being real. Diddy knew the game, the S game, S-E-X game, made more money than records. SEX was sell when nothing else was sell. When the COVID going on, when it's a thunderstorm, when it's a snowstorm, when it's a food shortage, SEX going to sell. A brother would rob his own father to go get some SEX. It's going to sell when ain't nothing else selling. Did he knew this game? I'm a billionaire. I done sold clothes. I done sold liquor. I done sold CDs. But the only thing that made me a billionaire was selling women. And you know the sad part about it, ladies. As much as we know this, women still going to do it. Y'all hear it on a daily basis, right? Y'all hear it every single day. Let me tell you. Let me let me remind y'all, refresh y'all remember, because y'all, I can't believe he's doing it. How many of you women, if it's not you, you know somebody... Or you see it on a daily basis on TV. I don't go out with a man unless he do this, this, and this for me. I got to have a $500 stake. I, I, I wish I would settle. Women sell themselves every day. And they don't even realize they're selling themselves. They put themselves out on the market and put a price tag on it. They tell me and all the time, if you a high value man with billions of dollars, I, you can have this. You can get this. So when the ditties them come around, what you think they gonna do? They got it. It ain't tricking if you got it. And that's all these women are seeking. Just cut on your TV. Cut on Instagram. Cut on um, uh, it ain't Twitter, TikTok, and, and YouTube and Facebook. All you see is women with platforms. High value women, educated women with the Louis Vuitton bags, the red bottoms, and all they talking about is what a man got to give them to be in their presence. What a man have to give them. 
If that's not prostitution, what is it, ladies? And they don't even realize what they're doing because Diddy watch it. Oh, that's all she need. Get her on the island. Get her on the island. Give her the bag she won't. Pay her rent up. Go get her. She probably got a little girl, too, though. You know, she probably got a cute little girl look just like her. Go get her daughters, too. See, a lot of people sell themselves. This is why men are able to do it. Y'all not looking at the root of the problem. Y'all not looking at the root of the problem. That's, that's why I like make my videos different. I ain't going to tell y'all what Diddy doing. Because we know what Diddy's doing. We know what all they ass is doing. It, it's Diddy's that live next door to you. They don't even have a billion dollars. They only got a paycheck. They get paid on Friday. And they can do what Diddy doing. They don't even need a billion dollars. Because there's too many women out here ready to sell their soul for a few dollars. Let's get to the core of the problem. If women stop doing this shit, it wouldn't be no ditties. Are we blaming the women? No, but it's too many of our sisters out here want to take a few dollars from Diddy. Stop being willing to sell your soul. And it's Tierra Marie. I don't know if y'all know who Tierra Marie is. She was on Love and Hip Hop. Cute little thing. I didn't know Tierra was that young. She was with Ray J. And what's his name a few other people love loving hip-hop all over the loving hip-hop atlanta and they just got the girl everywhere she supposed to be an r&b singer i never heard her sing nothing i haven't i don't know but she started allegedly with la reed and diddy and a few other big wigs and they was just running through this girl at age 13. so she been out here since age 13 she still ain't famous not like that. She don't love hip-hop. And you've been selling your body since age 13. The question I would have if I was a judge is, where the hell was your mama when you was 13? Where, where the hell was your dad? Who was your guardian at 13 and you running around with L.A. Reid? Because even though you had talent, your mom wants you to be famous. You're supposed to have a guardian that your mother could trust. Not, not a Hollywood guardian. Guardian. That's a guardian. Guardian. <laughs> Not one of them. Somebody in your family that your mom knows that she could trust. Like Tyra Banks' mother, I give her kudos. You know why we didn't hear a lot about Tyra Banks? Because her mother was her manager. Her mother went to every event. Her mother was there at every deal. Her mother. Y'all not going through my baby like that. That's why I like Tyra Banks' mom. She made sure everything, the T's was crossed and the I's was dotted. No, no, I don't need your attorney, baby. I got my own. This is my daughter. So I know I'm going to make sure my daughter is okay. I don't need you to hire nobody for me. Brandy and Ray J, parents, was over them. Ray J just went buck wild when he got out there, but his parents weren't playing that shit. Their parents was over them. And that's how it should be. Your parents need to be over you. Bobby Brown's brother was over him. He decided, I don't want to listen to Tommy no more. So he fired his brother. But it was his brother. Brooke Payne was Ronnie DeVoe uncle in New Edition. Why do y'all think out of all the stars that we watching? And I'm so, I'm so happy to say this. I am so glad this is my favorite, favorite, favorite group. We haven't heard no scandals. With one of the R&B groups that's still around, that's still friends, that still got it, that still performs, still look young, and that's New Edition. Why do you think we ain't haven't heard no scandals about none of them? Five boys, five men, six with Johnny. Besides Bobby Brown leaving the group, getting with Whitney Houston and doing his thing. Have y'all heard any scandals? They had a little thing try to say Michael Bivens hit old girl from uh, MTV or whatever, but... Have y'all heard anything about those brothers? Nah. Because Brooke Payne kept them in order. Ronnie DeVoe's uncle. The mothers were very much involved with their sons. They, they boys weren't going off to camps and stuff. At Diddy them house. And these brothers was from Roxbury. Roxbury. The gutter. And they didn't have nothing. They lived in the projects. They didn't become 
millionaires for years after they was almost grown men and they still did not get involved in that mess because they had someone watching them see a lot of these parents they hear that dollar sign and they just push their kids out there you are way out they would sell their children for a way out they know what's going on man i know i'm not even in hollywood and i just say my cute little 17 year old little girl just say she could see and they was like, man, we want her in Hollywood. Okay, just say she could see it and they want her in Hollywood. Do you think I'm going to allow Diddy to hire someone to watch over my 17-year-old daughter and, and let her go off to Hollywood? Hell no. Nah. When I was, I think I was 18. I was pretty much grown. It was this magazine back then called Jet. I could have did some photo shoots for Jet. They sat in my living room and talked to my mom and dad, some representatives from Jet Magazine. I kid you not. They wanted me to go to L.A. I had family out there. My father told them no right in their face. I'm crying and everything. No, she's not going. What do you mean? He said, you think I'm going to let my teenage daughter go out to Hollywood to do some photo shoots for a magazine? Have you lost your mind? He said, not mine. He said, now when she's grown... If she could do her own thing, she could do that. But as long as I have authority over her and I'm her father, she ain't going. I take care of my daughter. She don't need your money. And I'm thinking like, Dad, this could be the big thing for me because I wanted to sing. And I, he was like, no. Nah. He used to tell me all the time, you don't want to be out in Hollywood. You don't want to be in that world. And I didn't understand it because I'm like, the stars and Hollywood sign and the famous people and all the money. My father didn't see none of that. Nope. You better take your butt to school somewhere and sit down. The, he he wasn't having it. Now I look back and I said, I don't see why my daddy said what he said. Because my daddy is a man and he know how men behave. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jerome. Hey, Mar Miss Margaret. Holla at y'all. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Zeus. I, I'm just saying, I cannot understand why people so shocked that these grown perverts have taken advantage of all these young superstars, all these young folks. I'm not surprised by far because that's what people do right in your neighborhood. So if you know they got money, what do you think they're going to do with money? Money talks BS walk. You got money. People will sell just about anything if they don't have no morals. But see, I can't say that because when some people hungry, when they don't have nothing, when they in the gutter, morals, morals sometimes go out the window, man. You got to eat. Some people have sold their soul because they had to eat. So I cannot sit here and put nobody down because of the decisions they have made in their life. I do blame parents, though, a lot. Because you supposed to be your child's protector. It's not making no sense to me that all these superstar little kids from the, the shows, the Cosbys, and all the shows we used to watch back then, and we wish we were those little kids, were getting molested. They was getting ran through. All those, just about every young actor we loved back then. Just about all them young actors back then, males, that the little girls are just lust over. Most of them are G now. They, they like men. You wonder how that happened. He was so fine. He was so cute. Because their managers, the chaperones, the lawyers, they were running through them kids. And when you a child and you are in Hollywood, your mommy not around and they telling you this is what you have to do. To, if, if you want to keep staying on TV, if you want to keep doing this, this is what you have to do. It's nothing wrong with it. You, you might fall for that. Then you start feeling like, I like this. Danny Boy from Chicago, was running around with Suge Knight them. You would never have thought that Danny Boy would end up like he, he ended up. And I'm not saying, I ain't going to make a comment how he is, but he he's gay, okay? 
smooth brother back then laying up with Mary J. Blige, and that's another thing nobody want to address. It don't just happen with boys being molested by men. Mary J. was messing with Danny Boy when he was a kid. And everybody's saying that I that made a comment on that video I made. Everybody was saying, well, boys are more mature. That's a lie. And sometimes boys come off as being flamboyant and older-minded. And, you know, they got the tools as a man. That is no excuse. A baby is a baby. Okay? I know young men that cut into you. They cut into me all the time. Young dudes. I know how they get down. But it's up to you. As an adult to say, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Boy, sit down somewhere. I don't care how fine he is. I don't care what he's packing. Yeah, them little boys go like rabbits. But if they some babies, you shouldn't even look at a child that way, Mary. That boy was a teenager. You was flying him back and forth from Chicago to New York as a teenager. He was having sex with you when you was on your psycho. That is disgusting to me to put a child through something like that. But he looking at, I got an older woman. He wrote a tell-all book. And in his tell-all book, I'm to my daddy boy that was with Death Row. When he, the tell-all book, he said how traumatized he was when he think about it. Touching a grown woman on her cycle and doing grown men stuff with a woman. And he was a kid. Nobody talk about that. And Mary have not ever denied it. He put her name in his book. So when somebody go that far and do that and you don't deny it, it's true, okay? Because he would have been sued a long time ago, Miss Lillian. She would have been, he would have been sued, y'all. It, it, let me see some of y'all comments. Good morning, Queen Nina. Thank you. I'm trying to stay focused. Yes, I'm trying to stay on God, Miss Lillian. Lillian, it's hard. But hey, Freddie. Hey, Cedric. Cedric. I heard Jay-Z and Beyonce have been separated for months since the Grammys. Yeah, they, they've been separated. My understanding they have. But I don't think it's from the Grammys. Beyonce just say Beyonce no more, man. If y'all look at that one. See, that's what I'm saying. People, my button and camera loose. People don't recognize the signs. I'm so glad. I, God gave me um this 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 thing he gave me to, to recognize signs and see through the the fog i can look at somebody have a conversation with someone and and i can read their whole their whole personality who they are what they about i can just read people very well i don't even like it sometimes their demeanor talks for them you don't even have to open your mouth just the way you act i can read you and then I stay away from you because i know that you ain't on the right thing beyonce i looked in her eyes at the grammys First of all, she didn't bleach her skin. She got some mental stuff going on with her. Because if you don't like this, if you don't like this, this, this beautiful melon, something wrong with you. People wish they did have this brown, beautiful melanin skin. And you all bleach it? That's, that's some mental issues. Then I looked in her eyes and her eyes, you know, people's eyes tell a story. Because it's the window to their soul. Beyonce don't have a soul no more, y'all. It's gone. She's empty. Even how she interact with her child. It's like, it's empty. So I think that's why Jay-Z always with the kids, if y'all notice. Beyonce really don't be with the kids like she on stage with Blue. He's mostly interacting with the children. Or her mother, the videos when she at home or something, and I seen them, her mother got the baby. She has disconnected from reality. And I, I believe it's because I call it the Michael Jackson syndrome. They started too young. They don't know what it is to be normal. So they're weird to us because we're, we're normal out here. Well, some people are normal. Everybody ain't normal. But we out here living a normal life. Okay. All she knows is fame and money. So to us, she's strange. And she's starting to show it. And I'm starting to really believe Beyonce is on some kind of drug, y'all. 
She look like she's zooted most of the time. But that's Hollywood, baby. I was watching Keith Sweat the other night at concert. Zoot it. Keith looked like a whole different person. His face even looked plastic looking. His eyes was glossy and big. And he was like this. They be looking like lizards. Like something is some demonic inside they, they soul. To the point, I turned the channel. I, I don't know what how y'all do it. I turn the channel. I don't want them demonic spirits jumping off my TV into my home. And it's, that stuff is real. That stuff is real. I want y'all to think about this. Why do y'all think these children are acting the way they act? Do you think it's just by random that all of a sudden this new generation of children are horrible? I mean horrible. They have no respect. We were walking the other day and we were on a playground, y'all. These kids had to be junior high school students, about 12, 13 years old, cussing like a sailor. Seeing us walk up. We used to be terrified when grown-ups walk up. Our elders, we're like, ooh, they're going to tell my mama. They're going to tell the teacher. They kept on going on like we were one of them. These children are terrible. They have no fear of God. They have no respect. I'm blaming the parents, yes. But the music, the clothing, the rappers, the entertainment, everything that they see. Because you learn by seeing. They consuming all that garbage in them. And they becoming who they're watching. That's why you shouldn't be giving your child that cell phone and say, get out of my face. Go sit down. I don't even believe children should have cell phones. Who you calling? What kind of business you conducting? I used to go to school without having to call my mama in emergency. I made it through just fine. If your butt was quiet doing your homework, just talking to your teacher and coming home, you wouldn't have the issues you have in fighting after school. But you know why they want to fight? Because the rappers tell them it's cool to kill and shoot and fight. The rappers telling them this. Excuse my button, y'all. I came loose in the back and I can't button it. So they becoming what they see on TV. They glorifying devil, the devil, demonic spirits. People want to be Beyonce, so guess what little girls going to do? They're going to bleach their skin. They're going to get the blonde hair. I see young teenage girls going to high school with blonde weave in their hair. High school students shouldn't even be wearing weave to me. Eyelashes. You, you a kid. You doing grown woman shit. So guess what's going to happen if you're doing grown woman shit? A grown man going to look at you. Then mothers get mad. This grown nigga try to talk to my baby. Well, what did she have on at prom? Did she have on a little Kim dress and it was only covering her nipple? Did she have a see-through dress on like Gabrielle Union? Because she seen her on TV and she thought the dress was banging. So mama ordered it. So you don't think Diddy gonna look at your daughter? That's a man's nature. Girls, go to the gym. Naked. It's a big thing going on about the gym right now. They got their legs spread wide open, working out, titties hanging, and they doing TikTok videos saying, all oh, these men looking at me. That's what men do. You advertising. That's like a billboard. Your body is your billboard. It speaks for you. This is what people don't understand. Your body is your advertising. That's you marketing yourself with what you put on. If you go outside in a bonnet, you let people know, I don't have no self-respect for myself to en enough to even comb my hair to come outside. So I threw this damn thing that supposed to go in the shower in, in the bed, and I'm going to walk outside, and I wish a Negro would say something because I can do what I want. But it's, it's your representative. That bonnet representing who you are. Those pajama pants representing who you are. And people going to say this. She got on pajamas, so what's the odds of her getting up this morning What's the odds of her getting up this morning, y'all? Getting in the shower and then say, hmm, I want to put on some pajamas for the day. And go to the store. What's the odds of that? Very rare. So guess what people look at when they see them pajamas? She ain't washed her behind. 
She got up this morning out the bed and came to the store. That's nasty. But when somebody say that, you get mad. This hair is getting on my nerves. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep telling people, you, you represent who you are everywhere you go. You don't get no time off when it comes to repping who you are. I got to be a woman 24-7. And a mother. Even though my kids are grown, I still have to be a mother and a woman all day long. I don't get a time off. I don't get to punch out. So, people only going to treat you accordingly. I, I promise y'all this. This is why I don't get into all this digging deep into Diddy life because I don't need to do all that. I, I want to tell y'all some real life shit. I can promise you, if I ever was in Diddy presence, R. Kelly presence, L.A. Reid, any of them brothers, if I ever, ever was in their presence, I promise you this. I promise you they wouldn't cut into me like that. And it ain't, it ain't because I, I don't have a body or whatever. I promise you they wouldn't cut into me like that. You know why? Because I'm not going to let them. I'm going to chop their ass on at the door. You going to respect me, Nick. This ain't what that is. This ain't that. I have too much self-respect to let you disrespect me. I don't give a damn who you are. If your name ain't Jesus, if you ain't the Messiah... I wish you would. This is why I don't understand Monique. The comedian. The Monique. You got all that voice for us. For Tyler, for Oprah. But you bound down to this man that won't let you communicate with your son. See, I, I just... I don't have no tolerance for nonsense because y'all, y'all my people. I don't see about dollar signs when I'm dealing with my people. I don't care how much money you have. You still a brother. You still a sister. You still a human. Your money can't buy certain things. And the reason why Diddy going through what he's doing, going through L.A. Reid, all these people going through what they're going through because it was somebody somewhere was willing to sell their soul for a few dollars. Yes, you go overseas and them people over there starving. I understand that. They just want to come to the United States. They want to eat. They want a way out. I get it. And Diddy them must pay for what they did. They took advantage of the weak and the poor. And God have a special place for them. Trust me. Because that, that's horrible. Oprah ain't a billionaire for no for no reason. I watched Oprah talk show several times, and I never, never seen one episode to say she deserve a billion dollars from, from that damn show. I haven't seen nothing Oprah really has done to get a billion dollars. Have y'all? What, what have she done to earn a billion dollars? I don't know what the hell she... Is it good investments? Enlighten me, because I don't see it. How did Oprah get a billion dollars? A talk show? It goes deeper. You got a deep seep dive. You got a deep seep dive. Dive, dive deeper. They have their tokens. They minions that roams the earth for them. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all keep talking about Diddy, right? What's wrong with y'all? Do y'all really think Diddy got that much power? Not one black person in this world, not one. Not no, y'all hear me? Not one black person in this world. Rich, famous, property owners, whatever you want to call them, got where they are without a white person behind them. Not one. Every successful black person has a white man or woman behind them because they rule the world. I don't know what y'all been watching or what y'all think, but Diddy is not powerful like you're trying to say he is. Yeah, now I got this little spot on my love. I hate it. Diddy is not 
as powerful as everybody saying he is. Why y'all think Clyde Davis is holding on to Diddy so tight? Because he don't want him to talk. I got to hold on to this brother. I got to fight for this brother. I got to do whatever I can for this brother. Because Diddy might just start telling. And if Diddy start telling, ooh, just, ooh, could you imagine the people up top that's going to fall down? That's why I wouldn't be surprised, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I hate to say this, that Diddy don't come up missing. They said he just turned in 26 tapes to the feds. Trust me, Diddy got some death threats. Diddy got some hits out on him. Because it don't start with Diddy or Oprah. They just peons in the bunch. Tyler, they some peons. If they got a billion, what you think Massa got? If they out here got seven to eight billion, what you think Master got? Yeah, he give him a he give him a little bit of tokens. You know, go ahead and dance, perform for me, Nick Rowe. Dance. Those basketball players out there bouncing balls for millions a year. What do you think the owners have? We just a show. We the performers. They the money. Do y'all really think a man like Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs from New York, is able to do any S-trafficking, misusing any females, do anything wrong in Hollywood without a white man knowing about it? For 30 years, Pookie and Ray Ray them can't even sell crack for five years without going to the feds. You gonna think... Somebody like Diddy can go in Hollywood and take over? No, that he working for the man. He went to get international attorneys because he was advised to. Because guess what? The people he working for, they didn't told him you better lawyer. You better lawyer up. We got us, and they gonna blame everything on him. He gonna be the fall guy. What do I think y'all Kelly in jail, y'all? Come on, man. I know y'all smarter than that. He's talking. They thought R. Kelly was going to do something. He's got to, he was about to tell some shit. Lock his ass up and take everything he got. Shut him up. That's why R. Kelly in jail. R. Kelly not in jail for what everybody thinks he's in there for. That's why when they went through trial... Nothing them girls said really pretty much put R. Kelly in prison. They was going to do it anyway. If he had nobody to testify, R. Kelly was going to prison anyway because they were tired of R. Kelly's mouth. He was talking too damn much. We didn't hear him talking. They heard him talking. He may have did what Monique did. He may have went to the office and demanded more money. See, that's why I'm afraid for Monique. Because when you start talking against the Illuminati, the devil, and you don't know God. See, I can see if you knew God, but see, you can't serve two gods. You decided to go over into the devil's den. You went over there in Hollywood. That's the devil's den. And guess what comes out of that? Demonic things. You ain't covered when you walk away from God. People wonder why all this stuff happened. Because those folks walked away from God. They sold their soul. They said, God, you don't have enough for me. I can't wait on you. You told me I can't serve two gods, but I want to be famous. I want the world to know who I am. And if I got to sell my body, Lord, okay, I'll do that. Because a lot of those people knew better. They knew better. That's why they all mentally messed up. If you look at Hollywood, folks, for real, y'all, for, just for real, use your common sense. Look at the famous entertainers that we have. Most of them are messed up, man. They messed up. And we idolize these people. We play their music. We dance to it. We have parties to it. I mean, we just love them, dress like them. They, they are idol. And God said don't idolize nothing but him. So that lets you know right there, what is wrong with my hair today? They let you know right there, that's not from God. I'm 
looking at a picture right now of Michael Jackson. He got a half a white face and he has a half a black face. And he made that song, They Don't Care About Us. And he made one called, I don't know if I'm black or white or whatever. Michael was so messed up in the mind to the point, it's really like suicide what he did. They say this behind pain medication from his hair being burnt from the Pepsi commercial. But Michael was so depressed and he was Michael Jackson. This man had everything you can imagine in the world, but he was missing one thing and that was God. They say he was a Jehovah Witness. You can't serve two gods. So he died depressed and confused. And God don't deal with confusion. You ain't got to wonder if you black or white. You ain't got to wonder who you are. You don't care if they care about us, Michael, because you got God. So when I got on YouTube this morning and I seen everybody, they I mean, they breaking it down. They got the attorney's names. They got who all involved with Diddy. They got the tapes. I said, I'm not going to make a video like that because first of all, I ain't giving the devil a platform. I'm not going to say their names. Second, I'm not going to give them an opportunity to come after me like that. Because now we're dealing with some serious, powerful folks. We're dealing with attorneys that help uh, Saddam Hussein and, and overseas terrorists and y'all think I'm gonna talk about them people if they went over there and got some terrorists you think I'm gonna mess with them lawyers no not Nina no 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 but I want y'all to be very mindful with your kids and your grandchildren please pay attention because Diddy ain't just on TV. Diddy is teaching your children. Diddy is at the, in the pool pit. Diddy is deacon such and such. Diddy is even Sister Sarah. Yep, the one smelling like chitlin juice. That's Diddy too. The woman that wants your son to come over there and help out sometimes, she'd be the same woman to turn your little boy out. Trust me. You don't have no friends in this world. I don't know. Your mom ever told y'all that? You really can't trust nobody with your husband, let alone your kids. The only being that you can trust in this world is God. The only one. You can't even trust your children. Look what Monique brother did to her. her their mama was trusting him to be in the house with his little sister. He took advantage of his own little baby sister. R. Kelly's sister took advantage of her own little baby brothers. You can't even trust your children around each other no more. This world is wicked. Sex and money has taken over the whole nation. So, I'm not surprised. I don't know about y'all. But I'm so glad I was raised by the kind of parents I was raised by. Because they taught me the stuff as a little kid. They taught me to tell. They, they taught me to love myself why do you think i stayed in that car when i was homeless do you know how easy it was for me to come up i could have been driving nice living good have my own condo i could have had all that all i had to do is sell my soul that's all i do is sell my soul i didn't have to be homeless no woman alive have to be homeless to be honest when god gave you that good thing that good thing gonna give you where you need to be if you don't love yourself. Because people selling it. Daily. Until they meet Diddy. Now is the problem. I done met my match. Everybody ain't gonna just buy you a $500 steak. And this is what I understand by these girls are saying this. And that's why I challenge those platforms. Because I'm like, oh, you settling, huh? You settling? So you deserve him to give you all that stuff. Right, sis? So what you going to get him? Oh, he get my body. No, no, no. A man with money, sometimes you meet a man with money, he wants your soul. He don't just want your body. He wants your mind, your soul. You'll do whatever I tell you to do, Cassie. And that's including sleeping with 18 men. See, that's what y'all don't understand. You don't get to get somebody's money for free. 
Because you got a cuckoo. You don't, they, that's a dime a dozen. They can go on the street corner and get... Y'all never thought about that? They can go on the street corner and get a drug addict and, and fix her up. If that's all he wanted. No, he wants your cute little self. Because he got some plans for you. Diddy didn't have to go get Cassie. He could have got any little young girl straight out of high school and did whatever. I want your ass. Because I got some plans for you. You semi-famous. People know you and you cute. Oh, all these dudes want you. I'm going to give you $25,000 a week to sell your soul. Because I'm going to make millions off of you. My investment is twenty five k to you. Because I'm like, how can Diddy afford to pay a woman $25,000? No, I said, I'm saying it wrong. I am, Lord. $250,000 a week, y'all. $250,000 every seven days was in her account. Get you know how much that is a month? A million dollars a month. She was making $12 million a year being Diddy's girlfriend. And you telling me she didn't know what that required? Ain't nobody giving you $12 million a year to be cute. I'm not believing. That's what I said. You can't piss in my ear and tell me it's rain. If my daughter came home and said, man, mama, my boyfriend giving me $12 million to be his girlfriend. You mean to be his hoe? Because uh, what are he paying you for if you his girlfriend, first of all? That, that's my first question. Why he paying you if you his girlfriend? I can see if he want to give you gifts and stuff, but what he got you on a payroll for? If you on a payroll, that means you hired to do something. So what the hell your boyfriend wants you to do for $12 million? That's what I would... You making what an NBA player making. What, what, what you doing? He, doing junk, he got to run up and down the court all year long and work out. What you doing? My daughter can come home and tell me no stupid shit like that. See, I was saying, y'all better learn to school y'all kids. I'm going to a concert with who? I need to talk to a parent. Because I want to know who to kill if you don't return right. And I ain't saying return, return right. You might return messed up. I got to know who I got to kill. Because I'm going to mess somebody up about mine. That little girl, Tanika Jenkins. In Chicago, they came up missing at the hotel. Y'all don't believe that has something to do with S trafficking? They was trying to do something to that little girl. It didn't work out, so she ended up in the freezer dead. But see, her mama, she got paid for a million, but I would have went a little deeper. Those little kids that she left with, oh, we would have had a problem. You don't leave home with mine and don't come back. And calling me, I got your car. I don't know where your daughter at. But I tell you what, you better get in that car and you better head to Africa because I'm about to kill everybody. If you don't tell me where mine at, it's going down. And I don't care about the police. Now, when it comes to mine, I'm going to be the first one to call the police. My little girl, I, I kid y'all not, my little girl ran off. I call her little, she's 17. She ran off last summer. See, the state of Michigan, another thing that's wrong with state, these states, they got these dumbass laws. When you're 17, your parents don't have no authority over you no more. So she was on a countdown. She was a few months from 17. She was acting up, acting up, showing her butt. I went to the police department. I still got the video, y'all. I knew where she was, and they went open the door. I went to the police department. I asked for the chief of police. I said, let me tell y'all this. My daughter's 16 years old. She over this people house. They won't let me in. I'm about to show out. So I advise y'all to meet me over there or y'all gonna be locking me up. Because they can't have mine. I'm about to go over here and I'm about to kick this door in. I'm letting y'all know right now what I'm about to do. Okay? Because y'all not doing y'all job. Well, she's 16, she be, I don't give a damn if she's 20. If I think somebody's doing something to my child, I'm going up in there. I'm not doing what them parents did with R. Kelly. I'm going up in there. Now you got to do it to me and my daughter because I'm going to fight with mine. Okay? You're not going to just take my child from me because you can because of a law. F y'all fake ass laws. Excuse my my. French, but I got so pissed when I got over there. My son ran over there behind mama, mama, mama. I'm, I'm up when the police came. I was up in the living room. 
up in the living room. Had the little boy. You got me messed up, bruh. The police had to come in here and intervene. I wasn't playing about mine. She came home that day. I bet you that. And he in jail. <laughs> He's in jail. And now her mind is clear and she don't even like the boy no more. But if I would have just sat back and said, well, the law said, and, and this, no. Where the mama's at? Even if you ain't got no father in your child's life, where your ass at? Somebody got to show up for these kids because they don't think straight, especially little girls. When you get a little nice piece, little, and I'm being real right now, when you get a little nice piece and it just blow your mind, the shit, the shit could be like crack. The little girls can't handle that. And some of the little boys can't handle what the little girls throwing at them. You got to intervene. Now, just say you're dealing with Diddy. He rich. He good looking. He can take your child all over the world. He can make your baby famous. What you think she going to do? I was just talking about a little nappy head boy in the neighborhood just now. I had my daughter gone. So what you think Diddy going to do? This is why I said you got to be careful and mindful who you allow your child to listen to and watch on these TVs. Y'all sitting here, Diddy going down, Diddy doing that. Diddy can do nothing if people was intervening and, and stopping Diddy. This shit could have stopped a long time ago. But mamas and daddies were selling their children's souls. Tierra Marie had no business with Diddy at 13. Cassie had no business with Diddy even if she was 19. She's a kid. She had no business with Diddy. And her mama knew about it. She was all over TV with the man. I didn't even know the girl was that young. I used to be like, oh, they so cute together. I didn't know that girl was a baby. Because I didn't know who Cassie was. I would have never bought a bottle. I don't drink. But even supported Ciroc, uh, Sean John. None of that shit knowing he running around with kids. How many of y'all had Sean John on for years? Did he then just start doing this? By Chirac every week. Keep on giving Diddy money to keep paying women for F-offs. Then y'all sit here, take your hands off God's anointing. Could y'all push like while y'all watching, please? If y'all don't mind. I will greatly appreciate you guys showing me some love. Hey, um, Nicole, please push like if y'all don't mind. Thank you again, Cedric. Said they separated when well, she's when they sold they sold for money. You got you know what? What is the root of all evil, y'all? Gotta watch your energy. I always watch my energy, babe. Nicole, I always gotta watch my energy. Milton, she's a witch. Yeah, Beyonce. I think I think the Beyonce is um practicing that in the dark power she she's she's doing but you know her mom is uh from louisiana and and they say a lot of them know that that geechee stuff and i really i could see that in beyonce y'all thank you um miss callie cuckoo thank you i i just hey robert how you doing proverbs 21 he want us to check it out there's treasures to be desired in all a dwelling of the wise. Thank you so much for that. Via, I get it and just got here. Thank you, thank you. I want you all to share this for real because there's a lot of young mothers out here. It's a lot of young lost mothers. And I can't just say black girls because I know a lot of young lost white girls. I know more lost white girls that's on meth and selling their bodies on a daily basis than I knew sis than I know sisters, for real. So I can't sit here and speak just about my sisters. It's about women in general. Men too, they're gone. They're on these drugs. People taking advantage of them. They're homeless. And here come Diddy. And you know what Diddy is? The devil. Because Diddy sold his soul. You know... Sometimes you got to, you know, sometimes a little part of me feels sorry for people like him. Because I'm like, when did you get to that point in life where you said, I don't trust God enough to wait on him. 
I don't trust God enough to provide for me. I got to sell my body. I have to go fly out for $5,000 to lay up with a stranger I don't know. For $5,000, that's all you worth, sis. That $5,000 can turn into AIDS. That $5,000 can end your life. And that's all you worth. Even that $250,000 Cassie was getting was not enough money for her soul. It's no dollar sign on my soul. You can't buy me like that. Because anything I've ever been through in my life, God brought me out of it. Take a moment for real, y'all. Take one moment just for a few minutes and think about the worst thing you ever been through in your life. The worst. It could be illness, jail, prison, anything that you went through in your life. Now answer this question. Did you come out of it? You on YouTube right now. Did you make it through? So it's nothing in your life that's impossible for God. It's nothing that you ever been through in your life that God didn't bring you out of. Some people want to take the credit for themselves. I did that. No, you didn't do nothing. So I don't understand when people say I had to do this. No, you didn't have to do nothing but stand. That's why they make them church songs. After you done all you can, just stand by Donnie McClurkin. Y'all need to listen to that today. Because you can't do no more. You're not God. And God is on his timing. He may not come when you want, but he's never late. I'm a witness. He's never late. And if you think he's late, it don't come through when you want to. And that deal fall through. You don't get that apartment. You don't get that house. It's because it wasn't yours. It ain't because God failed you. It wasn't your time. But didn't he provide? And sometimes the way God work, he know us from the inside. So when you see people going through stuff and you wonder if it's a guy, why? Because he know that person's heart. He know I got to do drastic measures to that person to wake them up because they don't believe in me. So you just be quiet. Let me be God. Let me do me. I'm dealing with that person. Now it's up to them if they come out or they stay in and die in it. But I'm God and I don't need your help. That's why people don't understand why that happened. You don't question God because we don't know what that person has done. That person could have secretly killed five women. We don't know. And you wonder why that person died from cancer like that. We don't know. Even they thoughts could have got them in the situation they in. They thought about something wicked. We didn't make that person. But I know one thing about my God. He don't fail and he don't lie. And he's never late. So when it comes to Diddy, R. Kelly, Bin Laden, whoever. <laughs> when it comes to any of them people, it don't bother me like it bothers a lot of people. People are like, why you feel that way? And why are you so forgiving? Because I know a God. I know a man that going to make sure no bad deed goes unpunished. I already know this. I don't have to do nothing. Yeah, I tell the stories. You know why I tell these stories? People say I'm gossiping. I don't, I don't look at it that way. I tell these stories. First of all, I got thrown out into this world of uh, celebrity news. I got thrown out here. This was not even my desires to do this. But I said, God, why are you putting me in this? Because I see things in a different light. I want y'all to hear about Diddy. I want y'all to hear about Jay-Z because he's next. I hope y'all know that. Jay-Z next, okay? Jay-Z ain't no billionaire for no reason. Okay? He ain't the best rapper walking around here. He a billionaire. He ain't making all these big deals and all these other little white guys walking around making deals. They ain't never seen a billion dollars. Come on, man. Kevin Hart ain't make all that money from no jokes. 
So I say these videos to make people think. Be careful who you listening to. And if you listening to them, if you watching them, you need to pray before you even cut on your TV, really. You need to be like, see, listen to their words, man. Y'all too busy laughing. Listen to what they're saying. And then say, you know what, Father God, my kids don't need to watch this. My kids don't need to be listening to this. Because they, they sending some bad messages. They telling kids in, in rap music they, they need to shoot their friend. Kill their mama, rape girls, girls and bees and hoes. Now you see little boys. Just Friday, I kid y'all not, my grandbaby called me from a school bus. And I told her, always record people when, when they doing something wrong to you to get back up. They said, Monique recorded. You got to. They kept saying that she was lying on this little boy. I'm on the phone. I can hear him. He calling her every B and hold that he can think of. I, I don't even know the boy didn't even knew them kind of words. She got it all on video, all on record. You have to teach your children. Don't let people take you for granted because they, he was breaking her down that she was depressed and talking about suicide and she's 12, 11 years old. I'm like, uh-uh. You ain't weak. You ain't finna let no boy break you down at 11. You, your mama didn't have no B or no, and I didn't either. So guess what? Monday, they gonna take care of that. Because now we got it on video. Now the principal finna look stupid because she took up for the little boy. Because my grandbaby was new at the school. Don't play with me about mine. Oh, his mama gonna be mad. I know her. She didn't believe it either. But guess what? We got it on video. Why y'all think Monique recorded Tyler? Because nobody was believing her. Now we hear Tyler said, yeah, I said those things. I shouldn't have said it. Tyler, you going to the pit of hell with everybody else. God bless you to come out of a car, sir. On your mama couch. They said you were a bum in your family. They wanted your mama to put you out. And God bless you to make all that money. You failed the test, Tyler. So you coming down with them too. You finna be back in that car. Y'all don't think God can take a billion dollars from somebody. Look what they did to Ty um, Kanye. One week. He lost millions and millions in one day. Just as what God gave it to you, he can take it away from you. We finna see Sean Puffy Cones fall down. To nothing. R. Kelly sitting in that jail cell with nothing. Not even phone commissary money. This is the king of R&B. If y'all doesn't know, I'm going to make that clear too. He's the king. Usher is not the king. Get out of here with that. He's the king if y'all like it or not. He still holds the title from the prison. Okay? His, his music is still here. Y'all play it or not. R. Kelly is the king of R&B. You can't take what's already done. That's what I understand with people. You can't, you can't erase history. That's what's like saying you can erase slavery. If you can erase what R. Kelly did, you can erase slavery. We can't do it. It's already done. It's already here. It's already been done. Okay? People really need reality checks to stuff. Y'all live in a, a crazy, demonic world. These uh, illusions of I can make whatever I want. I can do whatever. No. No, if y'all don't get nothing else out this video, please take away that God is real. God is in control. You don't have to worry about what's going to happen to Diddy. You don't have to worry what kind of attorney Diddy going to get. You ain't got to worry about when it's going to happen. What's happening to Cassie? God is working. Just know God is working and worry about your children and your household. Stop trying to send your kids to Hollywood, the, the devil's den. That's the devil's den. I haven't seen, really, I'm trying to think, any, any famous person come out saying. Have y'all seen any famous person come out saying? They even trying to say Rick James has something to do with one of these little girls I'm talking about. God rest his soul. They bringing up dead men. They saying Teddy Pendergrass allegedly murdered his manager that was on tv yesterday he been dead how long they digging up the dead putting stuff on them i'm like look at this you can't even rest after you did because they want him to pay 
but he's gone. But they want to scar their names. Nothing goes undone. God is real. I'm going to read y'all comments now. It just cracks me up when I was sitting there looking at all the YouTubers saying, and Diddy got this attorney, and guess what's going to happen to Diddy? I already know what's going to happen to Diddy, y'all. I, I knew it from the day. I knew from years ago that Diddy end was coming. Everything in life has an expiration date. Why y'all shocked? If my nephew was in prison for a $200 robbery that he didn't do, doing 30 to 60 years, do you think I don't think they're going to get Diddy for all these people saying he did something to them? They got my nephew in there with no witness. Nothing. Diddy a black man. He a black man, y'all. R. Kelly a black man. They put America Dad in jail, Bill Cosby. Pudding Pops. From something that happened 30 years ago. You don't think they finna get Diddy? I know the internet gonna blow up when they arrest him on TV. But it's coming. It's coming. Jay-Z. Beyonce. I won't be surprised all of them get arrested on national TV. It's coming. Because I keep telling y'all, Jay-Z just ain't gotta pay for turning out Rihanna. Turning out Aaliyah. Turning out Beyonce. He got to pay for the stuff he did on the streets of New York. Turning out a whole bunch of household. Giving mothers and fathers crack cocaine. Young kids. Drugs on the streets of New York. He was a millionaire before he seen Hollywood. Off of drugs. He got to pay for walking away from Dame Dash. Doing him wrong with Dame Dash. Helped him get where he is. Dame Dash got to pay. For turning out Aaliyah and running around with R. Kelly. They all was R. Kelly friends. They was passing Aaliyah around like she was a toy, y'all. And everybody want to blame R. Kelly. All of them had Aaliyah. All of them had Aaliyah. That poor child been through all kind of grown men. And then they murdered her. And people said, why would you say that the plane went down with all them innocent people? Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. All them innocent people died with the bad folks. That's why I say that. It's in the Bible. Oh, it, it looked strange that she was on the plane by herself. They had to do it when there's a crew on there. Why do you think some people didn't get on that plane that day? Oh, I'm going to stay back. Some people that work with her every single day. Decided to stay on the island. I'm going to catch the next flight. Because they heard. It's something about to go down with Aaliyah. And it might be on that plane. I ain't going. Her plane goes down. It goes deeper than R. Kelly. R. Kelly is just a pawn. R. Kelly is a decoy. Throw that out there to them while we over here doing this. Give Mark Kelly. We done with him anyway. We got his music. We made a lot of money off him. Bill, oh, give him Bill. Bill don't even know he got a penis no more. Go on and give him Bill. He didn't have Bill. They can have R. Kelly. Now they saying, oh, our golden child Diddy is showing out. It's time for him to go. We got Kevin Hart now. We don't need Diddy no more. We got little Kevin. And Kevin would do anything. Kevin would kiss a man on a movie. He would put on a dress. He is Hollywood golden child. I didn't hear people say that several times. The reason he couldn't work with Monique because he's the golden child. Monique, it ain't that Kevin don't like you, Monique. Kevin got to do what daddy tell him to do. Then you, do, then you listen to your parents, Monique. That white man is Kevin daddy. He told him, made a phone call, Kevin, don't let me see you playing with Monique no more. Okay, daddy. He stopped talking to you. He wanted to help you. He gave you money. He has a good heart. Everybody said Kevin Hart has a good heart. He's a, he's a big little guy that's being controlled by daddy. So Kevin only can do what daddy tell him to do, Monique. Don't take it personal. Just like our president, Obama. He had to do what daddy told him to do. Everybody, oh, President Black, we got that. No, daddy still got him on them strings. Obama had to do what daddy tell him to do. What y'all don't get? 
any big time famous black person, successful person is a white man behind them. It's a white person at the top. They're not going to ever, 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 ever let a black man run the show. Never in this life. I promise you they're not. Even though God said, before the end of time, the head will be the tail, the, head, the tail will be the head, there's still going to be a white man running something. Trust me. They make the laws. They break the laws. They, they, they do everything. They tell us when to eat. When they shut it down during the COVID. Who shut it down? The white man. Shut it down. Shut, who can just slit, shut down a whole nation? Shut it down. Black man didn't do it. Open it back up. Close the dang um, government so nobody get checks. Shut down the government. Nobody eat. They did that. How many white presidents been in the United States? And how many blacks? And they say the country messed up. And they blame black people. But they run in the damn country. I don't know. I, I think I think I, I, I just think differently. Let me read some of y'all comments. I just think differently. I, I don't know. I don't have time. I don't have time to be worried about what Diddy doing, man. I'm trying to shit, worry about Nina. It's okay to be black. Yeah, it's okay to be black. I'm proud to be black. I'm black and I'm proud. I just don't like how black people uh fall for the okie doke. I mean, damn. Really, y'all? I mean, shit. We watched what they did to our ancestors. We still go just keep falling. AKW says the most real thing I said I heard all day. I, I just like being real with it, man. Thank you, Mr. Rain, for taking care of YouTube for me while I'm on here. Malcolm said facts. Star, hello. Keefe, is that your name? So you don't like... What? Drugs and public... I don't know what he's talking about. Something stupid. Ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. Is it say drags? I don't know what he's talking about. Malcolm. What are you talking about, Malcolm? Star. Star. I love your dip. Okay. I'm confused what y'all talking about. Please let me know what y'all talking about. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm slow. Shit. Okay. Are you talking about bonnets? Is that what y'all talking about? I, I, I have no clue what y'all talking about. It's true. I'm just reading some of y'all comments. That's disgusting. Kids going to school. No draws. <laughs> James, you crazy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Where's the like button? I hope y'all all found the like button. Go ahead and like your girl, please. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, hey, hey. Jaden, how you doing? Even though you said monkey, something stupid. Sasa, can I be your friend? I'm everybody's friend. Uh, Teresa, say that. Nana, what's up, Teresa, girl? Hey, Miss May. Hey, Richard, Ricardo. What does a man profit to gain the world? Lose his soul. Nothing. That's why he going to prison. Exactly why he's going to prison, sir. Robert says, "Tie for us, black folks to have some ownership." Puff, Jerry said, "Puff Diddy pops has always been a weirdo, like Jay Z." I know it's a Jay Z kind of strange. Jay Z kind of strange. He he's a little weirdo. 
Cedric. Amen. Speak the truth. You're gorgeous. Thank you, Iris. Ms. Lorraine said, can you speak first Matthew? I'm going to have to look that up, Ms. Uh, Lorraine. I'll do that on my very next video just for you. I promise you. A woman don't have to sell her soul. Yeah, y'all. I just want to thank all of you for joining. And I see Ms. Lorraine had to really work and get a lot of people off of here. It just proves my point that the devil is busy. You know, if people get on your channels and stuff and they just say the worst things ever. And it's a lot of souls is lost out here, man. You you would be surprised how many souls the devil has. You'll be praying nonstop all day. You got to pray for these folks. But I just want y'all to be very mindful of what you watch, what you listen to, even when it comes to me. Always back check me. And this is why I don't try to... I don't try to get too technical with this stuff, you know, giving names and dates and all. That's not my job. It's not my job to put Diddy in prison. It, it's not. <laughs> because I have relatives and people I love, and I've done things not, not like that, but, you know, I, I, I fall short. So I'm not trying to help the feds put nobody away. I'm not going to do no research and, and put him on blast. He doing a good job by himself. All I'm going to do, y'all, is give the news of what's going on. So y'all can know who not to watch. Who not to spend your money on. Who to keep your children away from. That's why I do this. I'm not doing this because I hope all my black brothers go to jail. Man, get Diddy. We going to get Jay next. Uh, and uh, we going to blast Tia. You know what? I just thought about that. What's her name? Tiana Marie. Do y'all know how hurtful this got to be to Usher and everybody else that's been victimized? And we constantly saying they victims. Do y'all know how bad I have to feel for them to hear that they've been ran through by these grown men and they looking dumb to the world? You know how bad they got to feel. But we, on the other hand, thinking we're blasting the d demonic spirits. We getting ditties and we getting um, all these people that had something to do with it. And we got to lock them up. Our Kelly's. No, we dragging the victims right along with them. We dragging them. They got to relive this stuff every time they cut on YouTube. Just imagine if you was one of them girls and you went through that. You got to relive every single time you cut on YouTube. So I'm a realist. You know why YouTubers do this? Because it's their job. This is their job and they make a living off of it. And I am not speaking for every last YouTuber. If I'm wrong, y'all can correct me. Most of them don't give a damn. They don't give a damn about these people. It's money. I care about my brothers and my sisters. That's why... I do my channel a little different. I'm not making a mockery out of Diddy. I really feel bad for Diddy. You know why? Because another black brother just self-destructed. Another black brother didn't have no self-control and appreciated his blessings to just live a good life with what God gave him. His children has to pay for what he did. And that's sad. We watching Diddy age since, I'll say the last six months, Diddy didn't age probably 10 years. The brother is not well at all. He's not doing well at all. And, he, and he, he's regretting everything he ever done. Trust me. But it's not up to us to put him in heaven or hell. If he repent right now, God is going to forgive him. I hope y'all know that. For all of you that threw R. Kelly away, if R. Kelly didn't repent to God, he's forgiven already. It ain't up to you to keep him in hell. He gonna stay there. And he gonna, it ain't up to you. 
And if you're a child of the Most High, you will be praying for deliverance. You won't be praying for a demise. That, what does that say about your spirit, your soul, who you are? I just get tired of just dark people, man. I am so tired of dark people because I'm so full of light. But it took me a long time to get to this point in my life. And I just thank God I didn't die in my darkness. I thank God I didn't die with vengeance in my heart. I thank God I didn't die with jealousy and hate. I love everybody and I wish everybody would prosper and do good. And I think that's why people hate me. Because they see the God in me. And it keeps making me keep going. People get mad about the truth. I got dogged out and ridiculed because I made a video about bonnets. Because I'm telling my beautiful sisters, don't be caught slipping. Always stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You beautiful. Just put your hair in a bun if you have to. Put a hat on your head if you don't want to comb it. Make sure you don't go outside in pajamas. Just throw some jeans on and go to the store. They dog me out for being real. They want me to go along to get along say it's okay to wear a bonnet. And it's not. It's not. Because you're a beautiful queen. Act like it. Didn't I just tell y'all you don't get to punch out? You don't get to punch out of life until it's gone, until it's over. You don't get to punch out and say, I don't want to be a woman today. I don't want to be a mother today. You don't get that. And when you do it, you go pay for doing it. This your girl, Nina, from Breakable Strong Woman. I'm asking you all to please like if you want to. If you don't, it's okay. I'm just glad you're here. And if you have the opportunity to share my videos, because it's a lot of young people that need to hear it. Most of you old folks don't want to hear it. Because they feel like I'm already stuck in my ways. I can go on and on about videos about women being submissive to a man. Like Monique, I don't blame her for being submissive to her husband. I don't blame her for that. I just blame her for the way she's conducting herself. It's a place for everything in life. And calling your husband daddy is not the place on the internet. But who am I? But all I'm saying is, you do what you want. You got free will, right? Free will to do anything you want to do. You can run outside butt bald naked if you want to. You got free will. But you got to remember one thing. is consequences and repercussions to your decisions. Okay. This your girl Nina from Breakable Strong Arm. And I will be back later on tonight with something else. I wish you all well. Enjoy your Sunday. Stay prayed up. And take the vengeance out your heart. Take the hate out your heart. Pray for folks like R. Kelly. Pray for folks like Diddy. Didn't you say you're a child of God? Pray for them. Pray for deliverance. And watch good stuff just start flowing into your life. I promise you that. Y'all take care. Talk to y'all later. Bye.